Okay guys, today we are checking out the GoPro Hero 7 Black as a backup vlogging setup. So, roll the intro. Hey guys, so a couple weeks back I received my GoPro, actually a month or two months, I don't know. Um, I was really contemplating whether I should upgrade uh, to the Hero 7 Black or not, but uh, as soon as the promo video came out, I instantly pre-ordered it, I just couldn't help myself. What I actually wanted to test was, uh, is this a viable vlogging option? Maybe not like a main vlogging setup, but like a, like a backup setup or a setup where you're like, where you have to travel really light and you just can't bring the camera with you. Uh, and when I'm saying vlogging setup, I mean only this one, like a, like a, I don't know, this is the three-way or some other grip and the GoPro. No 65 euro mic adapter, no 20 euro cage, no 50, 60, 100 euro mic on top of the price that you already paid, just the GoPro. What I did is I shot a short vlog in two situations and that's what I want to show today. So one is uh, like a sunny day, a uh, lot of motion, I'm in a car and a lot of noise. The other one is like walking around town in much gloomy, much, much uh, gloomier, if that's a word, much gloomy, in a weather that's gloomy. <laughs> and uh, it's rainy. It's also noisy, there are cars passing by. Yeah, that's what we're gonna talk about today. Uh, if you think that's something that you might be interested in checking this out, if you're thinking about starting to document your hobbies or your trips, your travels, or like shoot some home videos or whatever, and you wanna check out if this is a good option for you, I, I really urge you to continue and see it used in a real life scenario with absolutely no editing applied to it in post-production. Morning guys, so I'm going to work and I decided that when I'm stuck in traffic jams, uh, just try this in a more like vlog-like scenario. Uh, so audio quality is much better, uh, the, the, the voices sound much richer with much more bass. So hopefully this is now like a viable backup option for when you don't have your like big DSLR or mirrorless with a mic and stand and everything. They tend to get pretty, pretty bulky. It's, it's quite a bumpy ride actually, so hopefully we can see how good the stabilization is. I've been so impressed with the, with the, the, the new hyper smooth stabilization. It's really incredible. I watched a Peter McKinnon video and he was talking about uh, being a full-time YouTuber actually being quite a lonely job. Because most of the time what you see on videos is uh, like we are interacting with other people and uh, like almost all the time you have somebody in your video apart from yourself but uh but but the actual reality is that this video so you get pre-production which you do on your own then you get the production part which is like part of it is probably with somebody else or all of it is with somebody else but then you get the post-production which is also just you and a lot of times the post-production takes much more time than the actual production part and my GoPro came and I asked a friend of mine, oh, do you want to go after work, like do some test shots, play with it, look at it, because he's a GoPro enthusiast as well, like me, and he was like, I know I have plans. I was like, damn, no, okay. Yes, I'm gonna have to do it alone. And immediately that, <laughs> that popped up into my mind that it's a really lonely thing to do. Morning guys, so today we're doing a proper vlog test with the Hero 7 Black. 
and I met with Ziggy. Ziggy? Hi. <laughs> met with Ziggy and we laughed a lot <laughs> because I was doing, I was editing the Ambarita uh, vlog where we shot the microfilm. Yeah, I, I still think that the, the, the biggest issue about vlogging on the, on the Hero is the fact that people are getting used to seeing guys with like huge cameras with mics and stuff like that, but, but going around with, a, with an action camera, it, I don't know, it looks, I don't know, I think it looks kind of stupid. That's my opinion, at least. So now we're going to, yeah, <laughs> now we're going to my dad's office to help him move some plants around and then and then I just realized that I'm actually not filming in linear mode so now I switch to linear 24p Ziggy is currently buying uh, yogurt and uh, milk and after that we are going to Shait and Mihawa where we're gonna make um, this um, I don't know, it's like a traditional Bulgarian pastry called Buhti. I've been having an amazing week, by the way. Uh, to some colleagues from my old job, from EY, were uh, visiting my current company uh, and uh, performing the, the interim financial audit for 2018. It's always amazing during our financial audit because uh, I really enjoy like getting a glimpse of what, what I used to do. So I try to help them a lot and um, we exchange a lot of information, a lot of ideas about uh, analysis, about presenting different things in the in the annual financial statements. And it really pumps me up. It's it's awesome. I'm so happy that this week I got the chance to work with them again. about those uh, couple of videos but uh, I was completely blown away by, by, the, uh, by the video quality, by the sound quality. Uh, it's, it's such a huge leap forward. It's amazing what, what they've put into this little camera. Okay, it's kind of pricey, uh, 430 euro, which is kind of pricey, but uh, you can go skiing with this, you can go diving with it, you can do mountain climbing, kite diving, anything with it. Yeah, so if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel or you just want to like shoot home videos, document your trips with your family, I think this is a good option, you should, you should definitely check it out. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, give it a big thumbs up or I don't know, or at least a regular size thumb, 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 thumb up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. It's the big red or small red if you're watching on a mobile device, but it, it's pretty much the red. I think it's gray on a mobile device, but uh, it's, it's the button below saying subscribe. And don't forget to hit the... And don't forget... And don't forget to hit... And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss a video. Okay, thank you for watching and see you next week. Bye.